Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm sharing some household must-haves. I was just gonna do kitchen must-haves but then there are a couple things that I don't really use in the kitchen so I figured I'd just do a uh, household must-have list. And the first one is a good airtight container. Uh, I got these at Walmart a couple years ago and they're really nice because they just like open up and then have whatever inside. I keep my tea bags in here because it keeps them fresh and it also just sits nicely on the shelf so I can just grab it in the morning and make tea and also just close it like that. They also make like pop-up ones you can get at like Target or something. I bought these at Walmart and everything I discuss I'll link down below for you guys so I can find it. The next one is a funny grocery list. I originally bought this at Books A Million a couple years ago and I had to grab a couple more before they closed the store near me. And this is a crap list. And I just think it's so funny because it just says crap and it says date type of crap and then how like, you know, your crappiness level. I base it on the weather, so I just circle in whatever I feel like circling in. But over here it says crap to do, crap to buy, and then other crap. But usually I just divide this in like a Walmart list and a Publix list and then other stuff at the bottom. But I love these ones. This is by a company called Knock Knock and here's the back of it. I'll link it down below for you. You can also get it on Amazon, but I just buy them at Books A Million because it's just easier. And the next one is a good cooling rack. This is a tasty one I found at Walmart a couple years ago. And honestly, I love it because it just folds out nicely. You can put cookies and stuff on it. And when you want to store it, you just store it just like that. And they stack up really nicely too. I have three of them and they stack up super nice in the cabinet and it's just so wonderful. And anytime I bake something, that is my go-to. Then the next one is a K-cup carousel. I think that's what it is. It's a coffee carousel. I we're, This one's pretty much full because I just filled up yesterday. But I don't know how many of this holds actually. I never really counted. But we have my Dunkin' coffee on here. And then my dad likes French and Colombian. So we just have those on here. The ones we drink the most. And we keep it right next to the Keurig. So... We can just grab them and just pop them in. Like if you guys watch the vlogs, you know that I'm obsessed with metal straws. And specifically, straws from this really cute small business called Mermaid Straw. They're based in Indiana and they have the prettiest colored straws. This one's dirty, need to put it in the sink, but this is their purple one. It's very, like a nice dark purple. It's like a plum almost. And then this one is ocean blue. It's just like really, really pretty, like bluish color. This one's siren, and this one's black. I love the siren straws. It looks so good with all like the bright colored tips. And then we have gold, very nice classy gold if you want a classy moment. They also have a nice rose gold. This one's really pretty too. I love using this one a lot. This is mermaid. This is one of my favorite ones. It goes like blue to uh, blue to purple. And sometimes you can even see like a touch of green in there. I'm really hoping that if they come out with a new color, it's green because the green on the mermaid straws is so pretty. But these are the regular length ones. These are just regular straight straws. They're only like $5 really. They're really inexpensive, but they look so pretty. They also make tips for them if you like to chew your straws or just because. They make these cute little tips and they come in a whole variety of colors. Like I have almost all of them. I actually lost one in my car before I traded her in for my Jeep, which I'm a little sad about. But they're really, really cute and I'm obsessed with them. I use them literally every day. I change them out about twice a week and that way they stay clean and stuff. Every straw you buy from Mermaid Straw comes with its own cleaner, which I absolutely love because it's just... Sometimes when you're cleaning a straw, like, sometimes, like a lot of straws don't come with cleaners or they'll come with one for like a pack of four or five and then you lose them over time. These ones, every single straw you buy has a cleaner with it. Let me show you. I have a basket full of cleaners. <laughs> it's used a dirty basket because it sits by the sink, but like every single mermaid straw comes with its own cleaner. And these are the ones that come with the telescopic ones. They actually extend out so you can clean every part of it. And then these are the ones that come with like the regular, like the straight ones or the curved ones, just the normal size ones, which they call the six millimeters. And then they also have smoothie straws and that's, this is the straw, that, the cleaner that comes with them because the smoothie straws are like this big, they're massive. They also have boba straws too. Let me tell you the boba straws are great when having boba, but using, depending on the size of the boba, the tips don't always come in handy for them. Tips that, that for the boba straws are pretty good sized. 
But sometimes the boba doesn't always, like, come through the straw. <laughs> like, sometimes it'll just stop right here at the edge of it, and it, you can't really suck in the boba. <laughs> and also, when the weather's bad, like, today it's kind of dreary outside, you can't really see it because of the lighting, but it's kind of just blah outside today. Like, it, I think it might get better as the day goes on, but this morning was just really cloudy and rainy and stuff. So this is the perfect day to whip out the lovely trusty crockpot. Let me tell you, this comes in clutch. I'm a sucker for a good crockpot meal. I mainly use it over the weekend because when I get up for work it's like 5 a.m. And usually I don't want things sitting in there for, you know, 12, 13 hours until dinner time. But there are lifesavers like on weekends when it's just like dreary weather and stuff. You can just throw some meat in there, some veggies. So like a little bit of liquid, not a ton, but a little bit of liquid. You can put soups in there. You can make a whole bunch of stuff in a, in a crock pot. It's like, um, it's more like what can't you make in a crock pot versus what you can make in a crock pot because crock pots are just like genius. I know the big thing right now is Instapot, but honestly, pressure cookers kind of intimidate me a little bit. So I just like a crock pot because you can just like leave it alone and go about your day. So say you're making like a soup or something and you're like, oh no, I don't have any rolls or anything with it. Put everything in the crock pot run to the store, come back, and everything's there. Everything's fine. And that's what I love about crockpots is that they're pretty safe. Like, my mom used them all the time growing up as a kid, and they are they make wonderful food, obviously. They're really good for keeping things cold because they have a warm setting. So whenever you're, like, at a party or something, you can do, like, a crockpot dip. I did a lasagna crockpot dip a couple years ago, and it was a hit. Everybody loved it. Just bring in the crockpot which also brings me to something else that's kind of an extra thing. Open the bag already because they're already in the drawer. Crock-Pot liners will save your life. <laughs> they seriously will. These things are so useful. Um, these are just like the normal size ones, the three to seven quart ones. Mine's a little bit smaller, so it, it does fit. It's just a little bit, it's a little loose in there, but it does fit. But seriously, Crock-Pot liners are lifesavers. Like mine, like, they're a little bit big for my Crock-Pot because it's only like a two quart one. I do want to get a bigger one for like parties and things, but this works perfectly for it because all you got to do is take out the bag and maybe wipe down the inside of your crock pot or wipe down the side, like the front and the side. And that's it. It takes so much out of cleaning it. It's so easy. This next one is my Holy Grail seasoning. I use it on so much. I won't say I use it on everything because it's definitely not for everything, but Trader Joe's has this seasoning blend called 21 Seasoning Salute, and it is incredible. This stuff works really well on chicken, works well on steaks. I use it with pasta, like if I make like an Alfredo or something or spaghetti, put this in there, it's delicious. I'm obsessed with it. If I'm looking for a good seasoning, this is the one I ultimately grab. And I kind of grabbed it on a whim because when I was at Trader Joe's last, I think it was last year or two years ago or something, I looked at it and I was like, oh, this sounds really interesting. I'll go ahead and grab a bottle. And I'm almost out of that one. I don't use it all the time, like every time I cook or something, but I use it a lot. They also have the Everything But The Bagel, which I think Walmart sells it now too under like a different brand, but the Everything But The Bagel seasoning is delicious with eggs and things. So I love it with breakfast. I've made these things that I call a bagel quiche, but basically like I put things together, like I put in a quiche, so I do like ham and cheese mostly. It's my favorite quiche is like a basic ham and cheese and you just mix all that up and you hollow out a bagel and then you pour it in there and then I bake it in the toaster oven and it's delicious. And I put everything but the bagel in with it and it's so, so good. I love that stuff. I'm actually working on a cooking show and that's one of the recipes I'm featuring in one of the episodes. So quick spoiler alert, it's gonna come out probably this spring or summer, depending on how fast I can get things moving. I guess that's probably it for the kitchen, the kitchen part but I definitely love a good like little basket type thing, like a little, um, I the, what they call these, like little storage containers. I use this one for my silicone tips for all my metal straws. So like I have two different kinds in here, so I can't just like grab one and go because I have these little ones that I bought from Walmart because I have like a set of straws from there when I started using metal straws. And then I have all my ones from Mermaid Straw, which I'm obsessed with. And I also keep like all my big silicone tips in here. But these are good because you can put just about anything in there. I put straws in like bigger ones. I have one with like different teas and stuff like that on it. I have so many like of these little baskets. I I think these ones came from like Target or Home Goods or something. Maybe. Maybe Marshalls. I don't remember where I got these ones. 
but I also find bigger ones at Walmart. So these ones are like the ones I get from Walmart and they're from, I believe, Better Homes and Gardens. I'm not 100% sure. But what's nice is that I can put like a label on here. So I have like a little label that fits right in the spot. And I put like what foods in here and when it expires. And these are just so convenient because they just fit right on the shelf. These ones we mainly use for like protein bars. And then these ones can be used for like smaller things. You can put like tea bags in there. You can put like little bags of like fruit snacks or something in there. So these are really, really versatile. There's so many uses for them. So another organization thing that I love are like these little brush organizers. Mine is very dirty because I just took this out of the bathroom, like maybe right before I started filming this. And I use this one to put my hairbrushes in. Like I have a couple different hairbrushes and combs and things. So I just put one in each section and this works perfectly because it just sits right there on the bathroom sink and holds a ton of stuff. You can put, like I used to put makeup brushes and stuff in it which I'm actually getting another one for makeup brushes. This one I found in the bathroom section at Walmart. And another thing from Walmart are these super cute rose gold baskets. These are like three, four dollars a piece, but they, they're so nice because they fit a lot of stuff in here. Like I use this one for makeup bags and things. Like I have like a couple empty makeup bags. I just toss them in here, put them on a shelf. And I have one of those like little cubby organizers for like the big organ, um, like I think like 12 by 12 like little basket type things. This fits perfectly in there, so I just fill them up with like whatever and just stash it in there and it fits perfectly. When we lived at the other house, my desk had like sh a couple shelves in there and they were kind of deep, so things would just get lost in there. So what I would do is since these fit perfectly like in the shelves is I just fill the bat like fill this up with like spare things like maybe spare washi tapes or spare notepads, spare pens, things like that shove it in the back and then I had another one that I just put like the basic everyday things like the pens I use all the time, tape and everything and this one was in the front and that way to access the stuff in the back I just had to take out a basket rather than dig through everything. Makes it so convenient. These little baskets are wonderful. So guys those are 10 of my household must-haves. Let me know in the comments down below what are some things that you that you consider must-haves in your house, whether it's organization, decor, whatever. But if you enjoyed the video, please give this a thumbs up, subscribe down below, and I will see you next week with another video.